I'm gonna light, so you have an open hand. Yes. And then you're gonna go. Okay. okay. I'm doing that quick, okay. quick. Okay. And then whenever okay. you're ready, and then just three, two, one, you put it right inside that. Ah! I, I tried, I tried, I tried. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Zach Perhaska, founder of Cocktails and Dreams. Thanks so much for joining me on Hennessy Conversation. Thanks for coming in, thank you for coming in. Do you have a favorite cocktail made with Hennessy that you like to drink over the holidays? Just on the rocks, man. Oh, that's, I'm that type of guy too. I know, I can But I want to get fancy during the season. Sure. And you know, because you're hosting people, you got family, you got friends, you got significant others. So sometimes you want to look fancy. So I kind of want to look like you in your TikTok videos. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to happen today, man. You're going to be throwing bottles around. You are going to learn how to do this today. So you're gonna change people's lives. What the today, hell? My man. You're no, you're a magician. It's that season, man. Okay, well, we're gonna put on a show, that's for sure. Right what cocktails are we making today? So we're doing three Hennessy cocktails. We're mm -hmm. gonna be doing a twist off of a uh, of an old-fashioned. So yeah. it's got a little bit of a spiced brown sugar syrup, wow. a little bit of burnt anise, a little bit of bitters, absolutely mm -hmm. delicious. So anything that's spirit forward, if you yeah. like someone like you that likes a Hennessy on the rocks, yeah. delicious. We're gonna be doing a twist off of a sidecar. So mm -hmm. it's a cranberry sidecar, cranberry Christmas, we yeah. get it. Um, and then we're gonna be doing a, a hibiscus uh, sour. Okay, so let's get to the first one. Which is yeah. the first one that we're gonna be making? So let's go with our uh, twist off a sidecar. Okay. Okay. Before we start though, should we pour ourselves a Hennessy shot or a drink? Yeah, yeah. Let, let's do some Hennessy on the rocks as we get converse, oh. conversating, conversing. Conversing, What's the word? all conversing. right. Alrighty, well, cheers to you. Cheers to you. Cheers. Thank you for coming by, man. Thank you for having us. To the season. <laughs> All right, so let's get started. You want to do the sidecar? Yeah, so like side piece, but sidecar. I would not know what that means, eh? Well, <laughs> you don't want to have a side piece. I'm too old for that. My <laughs> wife would kill me. So this guy right here is our cheater tin. It's our small tin, our mm -hmm. mixing cup. We're going to be making everything inside this bad boy. Yeah. This is our jigger. It's a measuring device, OK? Mm -hmm. One ounce on one side, and then you have a double on the top. Uh, all right, this is my favorite side. Okay. Yeah. When you're making a cocktail at home, it's best to use a jigger, but just yeah. because it's, you want to be you want to be precise. Right? Yeah. We're gonna start with juice. Okay. So yep. when you're making a cocktail, you kind of want to start off with your least like, most expensive, the least expensive ingredients, the juice. Oh, right. Okay? Yeah. Just in case you make a mistake. Or right? the ice. Or the ice. Right. <laughs> We're gonna do a cranberry. We're gonna go with a half ounce of cranberry juice. So I'm just mm -hmm. gonna pour this in here. I just want you to see how that there's that little line right there in the middle. Mm -hmm. Just like so, and we're gonna add that to our. Cheater tin. Now the the show is all you. Oh, I have to take control now. You're in control. All this right. is our lemon juice. Okay? And this is what an ounce You're or double? Half ounce. Half okay? ounce. Okay. Just like that. Beautiful. Yeah. Rock and roll. He's got style yeah. too. He lifted it. <laughs> eh? like, I feel like I'm getting hustled. You brought no. in a ringer, man. If he starts juggling bottles, man, no. I'm just like I'm I can't leaving. Pick up the bottle. Get out of here. We'll see. Right on. Well, that was that was that looked like you knew what you're talking about there. Right? Yeah. I tell you. So we got the cranberry in here. We got the citrus in here. We got the citrus in there. Now we're gonna do a half ounce of this. Uh, triple sec. Now the fun part. Yes. We're gonna add your Hennessy, okay? Now we're gonna use an ounce and a half. So you'll see a line on the inside there, okay? Okay. And we're fill that bad boy right all the way up, up, just like so. Okay. Look at the technique, the high pour. Ooh. I will see. Go, that will be edited out. Eh? <laughs> Leaving a little something for me. Yeah, and then uh, that goes in just there. Pour it right in. Perfect. Rockstar. Look how great Beauty. that looks. Look how great that looks. It smells delicious. 100%. Wow. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to add a little ice. Okay. Now you're going to. Okay, so this is a tricky part because a lot of people, when they're shaking, you know, and then they try to remove, I got you. You know, it gets stuck or they can't get it out. So you. I'm gonna watch very intensely. I here. got you. The trick is this: if it gets stuck, yeah. just start creating a conversation. But while you're looking at them, just yeah. try to get it off. Right. You know, you gotta distract. But you're gonna shake it. But I'm gonna show you how to shake like a proper, a proper yeah. champ. Okay. So this one's for you. Are you okay. left-handed or right-handed? Right-handed. Perfect. And when you put your right hand on the top, on the top, leave a nice little smack. We're creating that seal. We're gonna hold both objects. Okay. You don't want to hold just one, just in case. This this goes wrong, right? And when we're shaking our cocktails, <laughs> yeah. you don't want to shake it towards your guests because if something goes wrong, right. you're the worst. Right? Got it. So we're going to turn to the right or to the left. We're going to okay. look at each other. This could be real yeah. romantic. There we go. All right, we're going to hold it in the middle of our chest like yeah. so. We're going to lift it up to our eyes. Up to our eyes? Yeah. Okay. Bound to our chest. Okay. Down to our belly. Oh. Chest. Up. In, down, and then you want. So it's like a dance move. It's like a dance move. You can shake the hips. Let it rain and right. pour it up. Woo. <laughs> now shake it like okay. you make it, man. Shake that money. Shake that money. <laughs> right, right. Look at him go. Look at him. Now, if anybody's watching him shake, I'm telling you, he's doing something perfect. What he's doing is he's smiling. Because okay. if you don't smile, you look like this. And nobody wants to be an angry bartender, man. Look at him, he looks like a rock star. Yeah, but okay. this gets really cold. It gets cold. That's when you know it's good and ready to go. So okay. you have that condensation on the outside. Yeah. This is what you want to do. When it's getting stuck, yeah. see where it's connected? Yes. Put that towards your chest. Okay. All right, take your palm and just smack the side at 3 o'clock. There oh, we go. Right. Give it a little bit. There we go. There we go. Oh. You almost got it. 
is we create a conversation. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna create a conversation. <laughs> you got so it. what are you gonna do for Christmas? <laughs> there we yeah. go. I know his hand's killing me. I know your hand's sore. Mm -hmm. Now before we're dumping it all in, yeah. we are going to look like a champ. We're going to strain it. So we're gonna place this in just like so. Oh wow. Okay. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna wrap your thumb around the bottom here. Yep. There we go. You know what you're just doing. Just like that? Yeah, man. And just gently and pour. pour. Now we're gonna add a little standard garnish. When you're at home, man, have mm -hmm. fun. Play with your garnishes. Use mint, use rosemary, do whatever you can. But for this one, just to kind of go safe, we're just gonna take a little pinch of lemon yep. and just pop it on the top, let it float just like so. Sometimes what I like to do when I'm giving it to a guest, if I'm adding it, I'll do a little stir and just touch the glass just like so. So yeah. when they have a sip, the first thing they taste is something, not just glassware. Wow. All right? So you give a little bit, and if they don't taste it, at least you look cool, because yeah. like, what did he just do that for, right? Trick them, it's all presentation. This is for you. I guess I should give this a try, eh? Yeah. All right, this is the sidecar. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is really nice, because you definitely taste the citrus, yep. and you got that sweetness from the cranberry. And of course, the Hennessy just brings it all together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you, yeah. why did you start Cocktails and Dreams? I hated having a boss, man. Honestly, I've always kind of wanted to open my own business. So what we kind of did is we kind of saw an opening in the event scene where mm -hmm. we felt that it was kind of lacking that, that bar vibe. And then we just kind of put it together and said, yeah. listen, I'm going to start going into events, give them a little bit of a different experience. Mm -hmm. You know, it's your, it's your big day. You want to yeah. have great food, you want to have an amazing DJ, and you also want to have a killer bartender, right? I got on TikTok and it opened up a lot of doors for me, man. Just uh, wow. lucked out, man. Man, people were drinking during the pandemic, man. So I was like on their, on their feet yeah. nonstop, right? They're probably waiting like, man, just make the drink already. But yeah. still, it was, I was there. What's our second drink, our All second right. cocktail All that we're making? Right. So now we're going to go with something a little bit more on the spirit forward side, okay? When you're um, making an old fashioned, we're gonna mm -hmm. go old school. We're gonna build it right in the glass. Super easy, okay? Oh, okay? So what we're gonna do is when we're making our old fashioned, you already know how to do this. We're gonna add two ounces, two ounces. This is a big okay. one. You're gonna fill it right to the top of that and you're gonna pour that into that glass. All right. All right, so what I have here is a spiced brown sugar. So there's a little bit of flavors of anise in there, a little yeah. clove, brown sugar, okay? We're gonna go with a half ounce. So we're gonna add a half ounce of your spiced brown sugar. Now that we've got our sweet, we've got our booze, we wanna balance that bad boy out. We're gonna use some this? bitters, okay? Oh, bitters. We're still gonna go with three to four dashes. Yeah. Just boop, boop, one more, boop, amazing. Beautiful. Okay. You're a rock star. <laughs> Add a touch of ice in there. Nice. Add a touch of ice. Now it's nicer if you have a nice big cube. But yeah. We don't have any cubes right now. All right. What we're doing is we're cooling. We're cooling the booze. We're diluting it. So this is like a stir stick and a taster stick. Yeah, man. It's like, like cereal. He's just like yeah. right in there. <laughs> or soup, you know. <laughs> He's going that for tastes it. good though. Yeah, man. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit of aroma. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pinch this. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I want you to pinch. Let's go with this guy right here. We're just yeah. gonna kind of pinch. What is this, cinnamon? This is anise. Anise, what's yeah. anise? So anise, do you ever drink Sambuca? Sambuca is a hangover, you've probably tried it. No. Right, you got it? <laughs> so it's- I usually use water. Oh, <laughs> very good. So it's like a black licorice kind okay. of Okay. Oh, so, I hate black licorice though. Oh, I'm sorry, brother. That's okay. Well, I'll drink this oh, one Oh shit, then. No, sorry. Keep going, keep going, <laughs> cook that up, get that smoke. Now what you, you do with this yeah. hand. You know, you're gonna light yeah. it up. Yeah, do it one more time. Just when keep you make, going? Yeah, go, 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 and then. Now when you stop, I want you to just kind of bring it above the glass, give it a little wave around, presentation. People are like, what are you doing? Like this? Yeah, now you're gonna let it go of the fire. Let go of the fire? Yeah, turn off the fire, there we go. Yeah, Swing and just what, put it in here? Yeah, you just drop it, oh. why not? You just pop it in, it's on a little bit of smoke now, yeah. watch when you go. Now you don't like um, black licorice, but no. now you have that smell. So but it's gonna be nice and smoky up in there, eh? You get that smell and you take a sip and then all of a sudden you're gonna have a little bit of a different flavor profile oh, wow. when it hits your mouth. So you're gonna get a little sweetness, you're gonna have a little bit of that oh, wow. spiciness, yeah, you're gonna have that smokiness. You know what, like the black, like, it's not overpowering, so you not barely all, even man. taste it, it just adds like a, a hint to it, but it 100%. like actually together, it's really nice. Yeah. Um, so this is our old fashioned. That's our old fashioned right there. Okay, so what's our third, our, our third cocktail? All third right. and final cocktail. Third and final cocktail, we're gonna be doing a hibiscus sour. Now is it hibiscus or hibiscus? I say hibiscus, but if you say hibiscus, then I'm gonna say you're tomato, right. Tomato, tomato, potato, potato, let's it. go. Tomato, potato, whatever you just said. Yeah. All right, so. Freshly squeezed. Uh, citrus right here coming in for her hibiscus Ooh, sour. Nice. Look at that. Bomb. All right, this is a hibiscus syrup. Now, there's a little bit of rose in there as well. Okay, no, so hibiscus syrup we can buy. 
You can buy that, absolutely, okay. yeah. You can play around with it. And, and it's super that? easy to make. If you're gonna make a hibiscus syrup at home, yeah. half sugar, half water, buy some hibiscus tea bags or some hibiscus flowers, yeah. throw it in there, same process That's as before. That's it? That's it, man, it's super easy. Jeez, super okay. easy. Okay, an ounce of that? Same thing that you did with the citrus. You balance it right out, look at this. Left hand this time. I just too. love the color of red. It yeah, really reminds yeah. me of the holidays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go, it's up to you, mm -hmm. an ounce and a half or a double. Oh, a double. Oh yeah, that's, that's why I left it. <laughs> It's double season. Clean pour, right? what? <laughs> I have no. You've been here for like 30 minutes. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> take it That back. wasn't too I clean. Take it back. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> so now that we've got our three mixes in there, super yeah. easy. We've got our Hennessy, we've got our citrus and our hibiscus rose syrup. Mm -hmm. You know how to do this. Yeah. Shake it shake like it. you make, like a, there you go, boom. He's got it, looks great. I'm gonna give you some fresh ice over here. Now, when you're making a drink at home or for your friends, remember, ice is nice. The more ice, the better. The more ice, the better. The more ice, the better. Okay, some people, some people complain about too much ice, but you're like, no, ice yeah, is right. Because they have no idea what they're talking about. Done. Everything's Done. measured, man. The booze is in there. Yeah. This way, man, if I had one cube in there, three minutes from now, you're going to have just a melted drink. And right. You're not going to be impressed. Yeah. This is going to make it chilled. It's going to dilute. It's going to have a little bit of a lift, so you have a little bit of a presentation. Mm -hmm. You have a full glass rather than a puddle at the bottom of a small glass. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you want to have ice is nice, okay? Yeah. Remember, ice is nice. Ice is nice. Buddies call you out, just be like, yo, ice is nice. Ice is nice already. Oh my God, look at that color. All right, we're gonna take a little rose. This is yeah. a dry rose. We're gonna oh. throw it in there. You know what, let's go three odd numbers, yeah. right? And a little bit of a bouquet. Okay, and then this is the best part right here. Now that we've got our rose in there, everyone's mm -hmm. like, oh, that's so fun. That's so, uh, it looks great. I want you to hold that. Yeah. Okay, and then what you're gonna do is we're gonna grab this and we're gonna get a little bit of oh. rose water on the side of the glass, on top, on the neck yeah. for the ladies. A little eau de clair. Right. There we are. So now when you go to take that sip, the first thing that's mm. gonna happen is you're gonna smell the rose. Yeah. That floral note's gonna hit. Oh, this is beautiful. 100%. I don't even right? want to drink it, it's so beautiful. Right? And then, but I'm gonna drink it. Of course, you know, I'm I love to drink. say, we're okay. calling Cheers. you out. <laughs> This is vibes. You know, what I love about your story is that you bet on yourself and you've also like showcased that you're someone who never stops and never settles. So what advice would you have to other people out there who are kind of in that same mindset? Man, the number one thing for me, man, is consistency. And actually, man, consistency and patience. Yeah. Man. Just knowing that it's gonna come, but as long as you keep moving, because if you stop, you ain't going anywhere, right? Not only are you gonna be able to stick a can to your hand like this, but you're also going to be able to pour it, okay? This yes. is the best trick you can learn, honestly. Yes. I'll change your life for the rest of your life, and you're gonna change the rest of people's lives Let's for the rest change of their lives. lives. As a beginner, yeah. you wanna get your hand wet. Rub that in there like that. On the palm of the hand? Yeah, get your hand nice and wet, just like okay. so. Perfect, okay? For everyone at home, just give it a nice little rub. Mm -hmm. Okay, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna relax your hand like so, okay? Just like this, not completely closed, just like that. You're gonna take this base of the can, mm -hmm. so you're gonna push your palm into the base of the can near your pinky, so on the outside of your hand, just mm -hmm. like that. Push it right in. Now, it's a kind of a three-step process. You're going to slide the can to the middle of your palm mm -hmm. and roll it inward like this, but okay. while you do this, you have to open your fingers back all the way. Really pay attention to your pinky and hold your pinky back. Because okay. if you relax your hand, it's gonna the fall. can's gonna fall. Okay. okay. So we're out like this. We're gonna place on the outside. We're gonna push, mm -hmm. slide, roll, open your fingers all the way, and you're gonna try and get right to the center of your palm like right. that. Let's see it. Oh, there, there was there though. It was there though. There was suction. There was suction. So you gotta suck, suck it. it. Sorry, you, you gotta. You want. You want. <laughs> suction. You want <laughs> suction. You want suction. Yes, you want suction. Yes, you don't want to suck it. You want suction. <laughs> you want suction. So right in the center. Oh, pull that finger. There we go. You got it. Boom. Oh! Oh, let's, let's, let's make it rain, let's make it rain. Right. Now, before you, before you do oh, it, now sorry. pull your hand, now pull your pinkies back. Pull, pull your pinkies, yeah, very good. Yeah. Now, let's get you a glass. <laughs> now, before, you're gonna crack it open, and then roll it over, keep those pinkies back. Yeah. <laughs> now, we gotta add booze to it. Oh, yeah, right. that's, that's important. Yeah. So I'm gonna show you show this, this trick, trick here. here. Mm -hmm. Oh. So this here is a plastic bottle. Practice bottle for a lot of the big, like flare bartender competitors. Yeah. They buy these bottles so they don't have a whole 200 pounds of glass on the floor yeah. like I did as a young boy. So this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna hold this. Okay. All right. You say you're right-handed. Right? Yeah. All right. So you're gonna put that in your right hand. This in the you're right put hand. Put this in your left hand. Yeah. Okay. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna first we're gonna kind of roll to the side just like yeah. this. Yeah. You know the robot. Uh, yeah. All right. We're gonna swing like this. Now your left hand. 
is going to be in front. This is your target zone. Right. Okay. So you want to throw this yeah. double rotation <laughs> into the tin. Oh, they ain't going to do this. And then we're going to land it right in. So we're kind of going like this. I'm not going to throw it because we're close, but we're going to go like this. And then when you reach here, yeah. your goal is to throw it forward and it's going to go. Oh, inside. so you're trying to make it flip this That's way and then it. catch it this way. That's it. Okay. All right. Whoop. <laughs> that was uh, almost. You got it. You got so it. So you gotta, you gotta flick it more. Yeah, throw it right to it. Aim for me. Aim for me. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Whoa. He actually legit aimed for me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, hold up. We got this. Oh, 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 oh. That was actually. Yeah. <laughs> so the number one thing is this: when your finger is on fire, yes, you don't want to stand still. No. Move it. You want to keep moving. You're going to move it, okay? Okay. But I want you to put this in your left hand. Okay. okay. And then what you're going to do is just to get a feel for it. Yeah. You're going to light it. I'll light it. Yes. You're going to light it, and then you're just going to go right in there. And I just want to remind everybody, do not try this at home. 100%. We have a professional. This is why we're doing this, okay? Because some of y'all just lose yourselves, okay? I love it. That Don't you, try this at home. You do it. You do dip. it first. I'm going to do it okay. first, okay? So we're going to dip into my magical solution. Here. This is how bartender extraordinaire lights their finger on fire to get the crowd going wild. We're going to light. And oh then keep my moving. gosh. Now, I don't expect you to do it as this long. <laughs> All right? But what you're going to do is you're going to dip. I'm going to light so you have an open hand. Yes. And then you're going to go. Okay. okay. I'm doing that quick, okay. quick. Okay. What you're doing is this you're going to go boom. Yes. One, two. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's not as hot as you think it's going to be. Okay. Okay. But do you feel a sensation? So, this is the thing. If you try to go long, yeah. it goes from not hot to lightning hot within seconds, okay? Okay. So, but you, like right now, I don't feel anything. Oh my God. Right? Now I'm feeling it. <laughs> <laughs> right? The trick is though, when I blow it out, I'm trying to be all casual. Yeah. Meanwhile, on the inside, I'm like, yeah. ah! <laughs> right? You right? can't, can't show, show that, show that part, part, right? So, so left hand. Okay. 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 So, so just, just dip, dip it in. in. And even if it's dripping a little bit, that's fine. Okay, okay. Mine, mine drips, drips a little bit. bit. I just, okay. Okay, and then whenever okay. you're ready, and then just three, two, one, you put it right inside that. Ah! <laughs> I tried, I tried, I tried. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is me lighting my finger on fire as the best bartending trick. Face up. <laughs> Did it burn? <laughs> you're good? Is it still there? Is it still no, it's there? Good. Okay. The finger is alive. The finger is alive. Zach, <laughs> like, thanks so much for having us here at your beautiful bar, and thank you for showing us three amazing cocktails made with Hennessy that you can enjoy over the holidays. I wish you an amazing holiday, and hopefully an amazing 2024 of more success. Cheers to you. Hey, it's BG, and I want to know, what do you think about what you just watched? Make sure to drop your thoughts in the comments below, but also make sure to check out even more great content like this video and this video over here. And if you haven't subscribed to The Branding Gona Show, do so right now by clicking this button right here.